Velma season 2 is finally here, and if you thought that season 1 was already unbelievably bad, well then let me enlighten you, because season 2 is even worse in every way possible. Season 2 broke me on the first episode. If on season 1 I needed to watch one and a half series to absolutely get broken and rethink all of my life choices, which were obviously horrible because I started watching Velma, then season 2 did it, not even in one episode, in five minutes. Season 2 Velma doubles down on absolutely everything that made the show completely intolerably bad and unappealing and horrible in every general way possible. Velma is a show that you get when the showrunners think that they're really smart, when they think that they are making this groundbreaking magical thing that's gonna completely, absolutely redefine television and everything, that they think that they're smart, you know? They think that they're making the new Archer, the new Rick and Morty, maybe even the new Futurama. Because this is still what I believe, that these showrunners think that they are so good that they are recreating one of these masterpieces. One of, some of the greatest shows that have been ever animated. And some of the best humor that has ever been made. But Velma completely misses on every single aspect possible. The humor is still corny. The plot lines, man, I have to say this though, at least. At the bare minimum, if you watch the Fallout TV show and you have a brain, you, you understand that, that, that the Fallout TV show introduced a hundred billion different plot, point, uh, plot lines that never got resolved and got completely abandoned. Velma doesn't do that. In season one, on average, every episode introduced five-ish different plot lines and four out of five got, you know, resolved in 30 seconds of them getting introduced. That's just how good the show in general is. But season two, season two spurgs out so hard, it should not be humanly achievable. Season two introduces roughly 50 plot lines per episode at this point, it seems. And I have just seen episode one. It is crazy how absolutely unreasonably fast-paced and dumb this show is. The humor has not gotten even slightly better, okay? The humor is still, oh, don't press the red button, and then and then someone just poop, presses the red button. That's the definition of their humor. Don't do something, something's not gonna happen. Surprise, surprise, something happens, someone does the thing that they, uh, they were told not to do. It is beyond reason infuriating, okay? And it is the dumbest stuff ever. Now admittedly, sometimes the dumb stuff is so dumb, I do get a chuckle out of it, but currently the stuff has been so painful, it's just... It, it's painful. The only thing that actually is remotely, even remotely good about the show is actually Fred. Because, surprise, surprise, the showrunners who think they're the smartest people ever but are idiots are actually pretty good at writing stupid characters that fail, well, basic life. Fred is not a character. He is a parody of existence. And you know what's the best part? Season 2 already recycles stuff that they did in Season 1. You know what's the new plotline? Now Velma doesn't have hallucinations. Uh, Shaggy, I mean... What what's his face? The guy, you know, the 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 one guy who magically doesn't smoke weed because that's like a, such a big thing and a character point. Yeah, that one. Uh, he now has hallucinations because he killed Fred's mom, and uh, well, that that that's it. From Velma now to Norville. Norville, excuse me. How how could I have ever forgotten this absolutely amazing character that's, you know, I should buy a poster of him in a t-shirt or something like that because how special in my heart he is because he's so great and memorable. Yeah, uh, that's what we get. And there's a new mystery, new investigation, new person dead. But instead of actually aiming women this time, he aims men, maybe not sure. At least it was a man this time that got killed. And Velma needs to take all her three brain cells of IQ 
and you know figure out this mystery and, and solve it because if she doesn't uh I, I assume nothing is gonna happen so that that that's kind of it does the story make sense uh no did the story ever make sense no so technically it's not a drawback it's just the continuation of already what we had in season one man things are really bad i know i, <laughs> I know Abs and this is just one episode. I am completely broken from just watching one episode. If someone had uh, told me a recount what happens in episode one, I don't even know what I'm supposed to honestly do. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. What exactly happened? Uh, rando guy gets killed. Stuff happens. More stuff happens. Does any of this stuff matter? Uh, no. None of that seems even remotely cl uh, close to a reasonable thing. It's just it's just purely randomness for the sake of randomness, which is again pretty much what Velma season one was all about. Just random things that are happening. Again, don't press the button and someone just presses the button. Oh, yeah, that's the peak of comedy that we're currently talking about. It is not impressive. It is all in all extremely sad in fact. I don't know what's going to happen to me and my brain after I watch even the second episode because I can only imagine it gets worse. New characters are introduced for no reason. I don't know if I'm supposed to ignore these characters, suspect these characters, uh, like these characters or what. I have absolutely uh, no clue. And is it cringe? My god is it cringe. It, it is the worst thing ever. This is what, uh, th this show is what happens when someone imagines that they are just better than they are and they can create great things. This is like the Starfield writer going on uh, TikTok, not TikTok, but t uh, Twitter, and telling everyone how great of a writer he is and how as stupid everyone else is for not understanding his absolute genius writing skills. This is effectively what Velma is. A, a bunch of stupid nothingness a bunch of woe garbage by the way but the woe garbage is still so extremely bad you can't even actually understand is this woe garbage supposed to be uh an attack on the right attack on the left is this supposed to be humor is this supposed to be satire i don't even know i can't i can't tell if this show is trying to be omega woke does it transcend woke or what's exactly happening here? Because nothing, nothing makes sense at this point. And that's what Velm is. If you want to absolutely just destroy yourself, destroy your mind, go watch Velm. Because it's going to be an experience. An experience that you probably should not experience, honestly. How did this show get a season two? I have absolutely no idea. There is not a single likable character. There is not a single likable thing about this. Everything is just a character of something over-exaggerated and that something doesn't make sense. And, well, do you think this is going to get a third season? I have no idea, but the fact that it got even a season two is absolutely beyond me. How is that even possible? Anyway... I'm going to go watch episode 2, and hopefully I'm not going to end up in my closet with a belt around my neck. Bye-bye.